podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. In 1902, Enman Chapel was built near Canton, North Carolina, to support Haywood County residents who had converted to the Universalist faith. It was named after the Reverend James Anderson Enman, the first leader of the chapel. Reverend Enman was the brother of William P. Enman, who was the fictional hero of Charles Frazier's new novel, Cold Mountain. This month, a dedication service was held recognizing Enman Chapel with a North Carolina Highway historical marker. North Carolina Bookwatch host D.G. Martin sat down with Mr. Frazier to learn more about the significance of Enman Chapel. We're in western North Carolina in Haywood County in a very small chapel. It's called Enman's Chapel, and we're visiting with uh, Charles Frazier, author of Coe Mountain, uh, Enman's Chapel, and uh, there's uh, W.P. Enman in, in your book. Yeah. What's the yeah. connection? Well, um, um, this, this church was built uh, in the late 19th century, early 20th century by my great-great-grandfather. And he was one of four brothers who went off to the Civil War. Uh, Cold Mountain was based on their experience in the war to some degree. Two of them uh, came back alive, two of them didn't make it. And um, um, so the, the Inman of Cold Mountain is, um, uh, is one, of those, uh, one of those guys or all of those guys. Uh, but, um, but my great-great-grandfather who built this church came back uh, and became a universalist minister and, uh, and built, this, built this place and, and was the minister of it. And it became a, a, a real community center, a real progressive community center. Well, uh, recently we've uh, witnessed the, I guess, the dedication or the unveiling of a new historic uh, marker. Um, and what is, the, what is the significant history for uh, passersby to note that the marker tells us about? Well, it, uh, it was uh, a, a very unusual church for its time and place. I think it was the only uh, Universalist church uh, west of Durham at, at uh, some point in its history. Um, when my great-great-grandfather retired, um, a woman minister from New England came down and took over the church. and was one of the first uh, uh, female ministers in the state, as, as far as, uh, as I know. Um, and it, uh, uh, there, it, was, it was such a, an active place in, in the 20s and 30s. Um, there was a, a lending library. There was music here a lot. There was a free clinic. Um, there was summer schools and uh, kindergarten, and all from a, from a, a, a very, um, uh, for the time, uh, a very progressive uh, point of view. When I was uh, driving down to the chapel from the main road, I passed by, I think, an, uh, an Inman Creek Road or an Inman, yeah, Inman Road. Branch. Inman Branch yeah. Road, and then the next road was the Fraser Road. And then I came to this Inman's yeah. Chapel. So um, you're Frazier and Inman. Are, have these people been here? Um, Frazier's Inman's been here well, for the, a long time? Well, the Inman's have, uh, have been here for, um, you know, since uh, Revolutionary War, or roughly that, that period. And uh, uh, my grandfather was walking down the road right outside the windows here one day as a young man and saw my grandmother sitting on a, mm -hmm. sitting on, she was about 16, sitting on the porch of her father's house and, you know, said, I'm going to marry that girl. And so that's how he came to, that's to be how in this the community. the came into the Inman family. Yeah. Well, uh, the, other th the other great story, I think, is the family uh, effort and connectivity that took a, a building that was in fairly bad repair and is sort of taking it back to the way it was. Yeah, it was uh, it was about to fall down, and uh, not that far from it. Um, 
and the, it, was, it, was, it was really wonderful to see so many members of the family find uh, the will, the materials, the work, the money to restore this, uh, this building. Well, well uh, just before we conclude, uh, somebody told me you have a new book coming out. I do, Nightwoods. And when's it, when can we look forward to it? In uh, late September. And would you agree to be a part of North Carolina Book Watch to talk about it? Sure thing. Well, I'm excited about that. Thanks, Charles Fraser. Welcome. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.